Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the term symbols for F2 configuration. And in this configuration, we are having 91 microstates, but we are going to draw the term symbols for this F2 configuration by using the BRITS scheme. And in this scheme, we are having only such type of configurations like P2, D2 and F2 configurations we can determine. These are two equivalent electrons. Right? Apart from these P2, D2 and F2, we can also determine P4, D8 and F12 by using the Holtz method. What is the Holtz method? The Holtz methods are those methods in which here in this case we are having two electrons but here in this case we are having two holes. So here now I will start with the configuration for this F2, right? And for F orbital we are having this, this these are the ML values, ML values for F orbital. So plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Suppose these are the values of ML for electron number 1 and this ML values we are going to place here in this row. Right. Now, similarly, we are also having ML values for the electron number 2. And these ML values we are going to place here in this column. And in this way, we are going to formulate this table. And how we are going to formulate this table? This is very simple. Maybe it seems to be difficult for you. But once we will start, you will find it very, very easy. So to start this we will have first element of this row. Similarly, we are having the first element of this column. And on adding these two, 3 plus 3, we will get 6. Right? Now, this 3 again and plus 2 will give me 5. So, this 3 which is blinking is constant and we are moving further with respect to the column. So, 3 plus 1 will give me 4. Now, 3 plus 0 will give me 3 again. This 3 which is blinking plus this minus 1, it gives me plus 2. And 3 plus minus 2 will give me plus 1. And now this 3 minus 3 will give me 0. Fine. So, in this manner, we have completed the first column. Similarly, we are moving to the second column. So, here is the my term which is 2 number and with this 2, we are adding all these elements of this column and we will get these values as you have seen here. So, 2 plus 3 gives me 5, 2 plus 2 gives me 4. Similarly, we will do the same exercise for other elements of this row and column, right? And we will get this whole table formulated. These are the ML values and now we are moving to the S values. So, for the electron number 1, we are having this S1 is equal to 1 by 2. And for electron number 2, we are having this S2 is equal to 1 by 2. Since one electron is having half spin. So, for both the electrons, we are having half spin. Now, the value of this S or MS, you can say, so, this S is having values from, from this S plus S1 plus S2 to S1 minus S2 including 0. Right. So, how we are going to move this? So, S1 plus S2 will give me 1 and S1 minus S2 will give me 0. So, I am having only two values here. Now, we are moving further in the next slide. So, for this F2, we are going to formulate the term symbol. So, how we are going to use this table for formulation of the term symbol. So, first I have drawn this diagonal, which is drawn with the help of this blue color, right? So, you can see this diagonal and after this diagonal, I will just draw this green line. So, you can see this green line and the values which are written over there that I am going to write here. So, you can see here 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 as we are seen in this row, right? Similarly, we are moving further. We are just going to have these values here. So, you can see here up to minus 6. So, plus 6 to minus 6. 
similarly what we are going to see next so the, i will cut down this second row and this second column and all the values i am going to put here as set number 2 for ml value similarly for the third row and third column here we are getting this set number 3 similarly for set number 4 set number 5 set number 6 and set number 7 so i hope you will understand what i have done here and now ne the next point is through this we can determine the terms and now from these values we can determine the values of our term here you can see for this 0 we are having l for this 1 0 minus 1 we are having p similarly for this 2 2 2 minus 2 we are having d f g h and i so in the next slide i will show you how we have decided these terms but here the important point is that to which we are going to assign as in our previous video we have seen that s has value 0 and 1 so according to this s we are having the multiplicity 2s plus 1 that is for this 1 we are having 3 and for this 0 we are having 1 so we are having two multiplicities 3 and 1 now the important point is that once we are going to determine the terms then how we are going to decide the multiplicity in this grids scheme so that is the another simple method so which elements you are finding on your diagonal as this is blinking so the elements which you are finding on the diagonal as here this 6 and i have highlighted this set 1 with the red color so this set has two similar values as you can see here so here i am going to show you this is 3 this is 3 and this is 3 again so these two are 3 for the f orbital so if this is my f orbital so 3 is this plus 3 and plus 3 so if both the electrons are having same ml value then their spin values must be different so here these two must be in opposite spins if these two are in opposite spin then we are having value of s is 0 and if this s is 0 then the multiplicity should be 1 so the elements which are on diagonal here again i am showing you the next term here this is 4 and for this 4 the values of ml for the given set of electrons so here you can see 2 and here again you will be able to see this 2 so both are 2 and 2 similarly here you can see if 2 and 2 is this and both the electrons are in 2 and 2 then both should be in opposite spins so in that way the elements which you are finding on your diagonal that should have the values for their multiplicity as 1 or s should be 0 for them so here for the second set you can see here and for this 0 you can see here so in this manner you are going to find out that the multiplicity for these terms which we are having for the set 1, set 3, set 5 and set 7 has s is equal to 0 and 2s plus 1 is equal to 1 right so I am going to tell you here in the next slide so here you can see these are the terms I am just writing first and then I will tell you for ml l is equal to if ml is equal to 0 then we are having s if ml is equal to 1 then we are having p for 2 we are having d for 3 we are having p for 4 we are having g and for 5 we are having h and for i we are having this value 6 so here the maximum number is this here you can see so if from there you can easily determine what should be the term and now moving further we already determined for which set we are going to have s is equal to 0 and for rest of the sets we are having 1 and for s is equal to 0 the multiplicity value is 1 and for s is equal to 1 the multiplicity value is 3 so now i am just going to write here you can see 
so what about this i it is red and i said this red is on the diagonal and if it is on diagonal it has two parallel electrons and these parallel electrons have multiplicity one so this will have one again this will have one again this will have one and this will have one so i have written here you can see the alternate element is having spin multiplicity one and the rest of the elements will have spin multiplicity 3 so you can see you can check it out now what about these subscripts so these subscripts represents j value j is equal to l plus s so what is l l you can see from here it is 6 so 6 plus 0 and 6 minus 0 you can see only 6 for this h we are having 5 value of ml and for what about s s is having one so l plus s gives me six l plus s minus one will gives me what five now l plus s minus two will gives me four so only these three values are possible for this l now the question comes why so the reason is this if we are having l is greater than s then we are having the same values as the multiplicity is there so only three values are possible we are not going further so the reason is as we are having the value of s s is here in this case one and l is five so we have to follow 2s plus one so 2s plus one gives me three so only three values are possible so six five and four values are possible now coming to the one g so what about this one g so for this one g we are having s is equal to zero and l is equal to four four plus zero gives me four only so this is four now coming to the three f so f is three and s in this case one so three plus one gives me four here you can see 3 plus 1 minus 1 will gives me 3 and 3 plus 1 minus 2 will gives me 2 and only these many values are possible now the question again comes why only these three values are possible because our s which is 1 here in this case and l is 3 so s is less than this is value of l this is value of l so s is less than 3 so we are following 2s plus 1 only three values are possible so 4 3 2 is possible similarly for 1d we are having 2 and you can calculate for this 3p we are having 2 1 0 and for this 1s again we are having 0 because value of l is 0 so in this manner we are having the term symbols for this f2 configuration now the question comes which is the ground state term symbol for this f2 configuration so the ground state term symbol for this f2 is 3h4 but if i just ask you the ground state term symbol for f12 then we will have 3h6 now the reason is because this is less than half filled what about this it is more than half filled so for more than half filled we will choose the maximum value and for less than half filled we will choose the lesser value right these are the ground state term symbols for this f2 and f12 so i hope you will find this useful and you understand the concept which we have discussed here if you like this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel thank you all thanks for watching